what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below y'all hit that like button it definitely sends an energetic donation my way but let's get right into this a song that is channeling during the pre-shuffle is be careful by sparkle and it's the beginning that really sticks out to me within this song when she says you know two years ago promises is all i heard and i'm not trying to be no motherfucking american idol y'all don't play me okay wait a minute let me finish two years ago promises is all i heard out of your mouth so there could have been something significant that happened two years ago not necessarily just like the promises like the song but i'm channeling energy you know what i'm saying like it all channels differently there's something significant that could have happened two years ago um but this person could have made a lot of promises you know all you heard was promises out of your mouth let me get back. Let me see. Two years ago, promises is all I heard. I found out you're still reaching out to some of them. I don't know what's going on here, but there's definitely an energy where she's saying, you know, you better be careful what you what you say to me because it might turn around on you. You better be careful what you do to me because somebody might do it to you. So there's an energy of if the shoe fits, wear it. Mm. So it's almost like somebody warned this person. There's an energy of somebody, whether it's you, their people, their friends, their spirit guides. Somebody warned this person, be careful, you know, be, be careful. Karma's a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And whatever you do, it's going to come back and bite you in the ass. Be very, very careful of the decisions that you're making here. But it's almost like somebody didn't listen. Somebody chose the, to, to lead astray. And so there's an energy of be careful what you say to me. It might turn around on you. Everything that they were saying and made you feel out is turning around on them. Be careful what you do to me because somebody might do it to you. So there's an energy of them meeting their motherfucking match. And there is an energy, a separate energy that's here. And I don't never judge the karmic because we've all been a karmic in, in a situation in our life. Let's not play like we haven't, right? We've all been a karmic to somebody. But there is a karmic here where they've met their motherfucking match. This person um <laughs> meets them equally. All the shit that they do gets done. It's almost like you gave 100% to this connection and they were given none. And now it's almost like they were trying to give. And it, I know it's hurtful to hear this, but I have to be honest. They were trying to give their 100% to another situation. And this person turned around and didn't even give a fuck about them. You know, played the fuck out of them. Played with their emotions. Played with their soft spot, right? So it's almost like their warnings that they didn't take heed to are now coming to fruition. You better be careful what you do to me, right? Look, don't fall blindly in love, T. So whoever they're dealing with is not finna motherfucking ooh twin flame sex and twin flame contract this, this is the problem here mm. and this person was trying to hide guard themselves from you and hide their emotions and hide how they feel but then it's so motherfucking easy for this person to go to somebody that they don't give a fuck about and lay emotions out on the line and be all in love and all this when they don't truly feel it if that makes sense to y'all it's like they guard themselves when they're with you and hide their emotions that they truly feel deep down but yet they can go to other energies and show affection and emotion and oh all this soft side because they don't truly feel it and i don't know how that makes sense but it makes true motherfucking sense it's like so easy for them to give emotions where they don't really feel it and play games with somebody else's emotions. 
rather than to be real to themselves and with you and give to this situation. This is all a part of them guarding themselves and keeping themselves from getting hurt. But see, this pattern continues to repeat because they keep doing it. It's like you give them a chance. They're supposed to be coming in, being more affectionate, being more loving, showing you another side, and they're not. Um, And so now there's this energy where it was like, you know, this person is scared. It says, make sure if you fall, they'll be ready to catch you. They're scared of how blindly they have fallen in love with you. Like how no matter what you do, it's like they can turn a blind eye to it. This person would love you like, well, I'm hearing that song. When your legs don't work like they used to before and I can't sweep you off of your feet. Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile? Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. Okay, so that's what I'm hearing. It's like, no matter what the fuck you do, they are blindly in love with you. And they're scared to just fall. They're scared to fall. They're, they're scared to admit it. They're scared to be in that energy. But yet they went towards somebody else. And this is what you had to see. It's like this was your perception, okay? Where they went to a whole nother re person, relationship, whatever, and gave, like, gave their love, showed affection, all this. And you're like sitting back like, what the fuck, right? This is very, very hurtful. So it has you taking a step back and being like, look, no, like, you know, be careful what you do. It's going to turn around on you. And now there's an energy of you rejecting them. You trying to reject them. This is your twin flame. You guys definitely have a twin flame contract. And you guys definitely know when you're making love to this person that this is your person. This is There's nothing like twin flame sex. This person could have a one inch worm or a, a 10 inch pothole. And it's still going to be the best motherfucking shit you've ever had in your life. Why? Because... Twin flames are two souls that have, I mean, are, are one soul that have been break, broken into two, right? And separated and you spend your life looking for your twin flame. So when you come together and you're intertwined and that thing is up in you or, you know, you're up in them and you, your bodies are finally one again. So now the twin flames, souls who have been separated are now one again and you know it and you feel it and it's nothing like it with anybody else right and there's this twin flame contract but spirit is saying like it's not the goal isn't to fulfill this twin flame contract the goal is to focus on the lessons so what are the lessons being taught here we can dwell on why things are going the way they are why is it happening this way or we can sit here and be like yeah that motherfucker is over there learning lessons major lessons why so that this twin flame contract can be fulfilled. It's all for you guys. And you guys can sit back and be like, yeah, whatever, blah, 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 blah. I don't give a damn, okay? No matter how hard it seems, what they're going through and what they're doing right now is teaching them some very major, hard-fought motherfucking lessons. Does it hurt you? Yes. Does it put you th through some things? Yes. But it's also putting you through some shadow work so that you guys can fulfill this twin flame contract. There's an energy of now, you know, the twin flame chaser runner aspect of you running, rejecting. I got to sit back and watch you love somebody else when I know that your heart and your soul lies within me. So I'm going to pull my energy back. I'm going to reject you now. Be careful what you say to me. It might turn around on you. Be careful what you do to me. It might turn around on you. Somebody else might do it to you and now it's happened everything that they did to you is now being done to them and now there's an energy of you running rejecting i'm not gonna sit here when i deserved that love i deserved yo honesty i deserved your affection right too many secrets not revealing the truth or have lied about something. So there are still secrets being hidden from you. They're still lying about something. They're not telling the full truth. And 
you know this. You know, it's like, okay, whatever is going on in their life, they're receiving major karma, but they're still trying to hide things from you. And this is a lesson that they were supposed to fucking learn. They were supposed to have been done learned this shit. And they're still doing it. It's like spirit has laid it on their lap. Like, you dumb motherfucker. Why do you keep doing this? Making these decisions. Acting this way. Playing with this person. Because every time you play with this person, we come and deliver your justice. Your fucking karma. And it's instant. And they see it. Soon as they hurt you, instant karma. So it's like... Now that they're seeing it, why are you still fucking doing it? This is what your this is what your spirit guides are saying. They're still coming towards you, hiding things, not being fully honest, might still have a little something, something on the side that they might be playing with. And spirit is like, why, why, why are you still doing this shit? Why? Why? You think they like it's like it's like you're because you if you're twin flames you guys have the same spirit guides you have the same ancestors you originated together okay so your spirit guides are looking at your other half like you are so damn dumb you know like they're like do you really think we're not going to reveal this because you're you're not hurting this person you're hurting yourself too you think we're going to let you continue to hide things? Anything that you're doing will be revealed instantly. Like instant reveal scratch off. You know what I'm saying? It's instantly revealed. And they know this. It's a pattern. This is a pattern. And if you guys are resonating, you know what I'm saying. It's like as soon as they do you dirty, spirit reveals it. Spirit lets you know. Your intuition feels it. Then all of a sudden when you find, you know, and they're, they fall to shit. So there's an energy of them trying to be clever. They don't want you to reject them. They don't want you to let them go. But here they are still not being completely truthful. Not being honest and forthcoming. They're being a little more affectionate is what I'm seeing here. Showing that softer side of them. But there's still something that's not being revealed to you. And if it's something that would hurt you, your spirit guides ain't going. And I feel like this is why somebody's in that energy of being closed off, of rejecting them. Because your spirit guides are protecting you from them lying and bullshitting again. Whoever this person is, they are, look, they must be cho choose between you and the fast lane. You know, they're out there, they're doing themselves, they they going from party to party, person to person, you know, just kind of doing whatever the fuck they want to do. And this could be a part of what's not being revealed to you, you know, something that they're doing this life that they have, you know, it's like settle down or continue to live my life, right? And spirit is like, you know what, it's time for you to choose you. When it, and this is what you're doing, I feel like, but if you're not, because it's what you don't see bottom of the deck. Always choose you. Fill your own cup to be a more fulfilled version of yourself. And that's where this comes in with this twin flame contract, right? Remember, focus on the lessons. Patience is the key to fulfilling it. And when I was talking about, you know, yeah, it might be hurtful, but it's also putting you through some shadow work. You through some lessons. You opening up parts of yourself and healing parts of yourself that you might not have healed before. So this is where spirit is wanting you to feel this is a part of your lesson. Feeling your own motherfucking cup. Fulfilling yourself in that song. And I channeled it just the other day. But sorry, y'all. I channel energy through music. And it, that song by my, the brand new song by Miley Cyrus, Flowers, is popping into my head. You know, I could buy myself flowers. I could take myself dancing. I could take myself out to eat. You know, I, I can do, I can love myself better than you can, is what she says in that song. You know, she she's like, I didn't want to leave you. I almost started to cry, but then I remembered. I can buy myself flowers. I can take myself to dinner. I can motherfucking take myself dancing. I can love myself better than you can. And this is something that you don't understand. Like she's talking about being in her own energy, talking to herself and being happy talking to herself, right? This is her fulfilling her own motherfucking cup. And this is what spirit is wanting you to do and show this person. I can fulfill my own cup. I can buy myself flowers. I can take myself out to motherfucking eat. 
I can go dancing and have a good time alone. I can love myself so motherfucking much better than you ever could. And when you love yourself that motherfucking much, you're not going to accept anything less. And they're going to have no choice but to have to level up and get with the motherfucking picture. Spirit ain't going to let these motherfucking secrets continue to be held from you. They know it. So, buddy, get with the motherfucking picture or get lost. And that's exactly how your spirit guides are feeling. All right? All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.